This one's for podcasters and content creators when it comes to audio. Now, when Rode released the Rodecaster Pro, it changed the game for podcasting. Honestly, there's never been anything like it, and I think everyone is fighting to keep up. But these things, pretty familiar to anyone that's worked in the radio game. I've worked pretty much my entire career in radio, and I'm familiar with the concept of the, the mic arm. But a lot of people are starting to set up their own podcast studio, thanks to devices like this. They're getting great microphones, but how do you, how do you set them up? Where do you put them? Now this, the PSA arm, has been around for a very long time. I've had, I've got three or four of these in my home studio, and I reckon I've had those for probably 10 years, um, maybe more. And so, they're getting on, but they still do the job. So what Rode have done is release this, the PSA One Plus, because it's just that little bit better, and it's a step ahead from what they've got. So, let's take a look. I've got it here, I've already taken it out of the box. It is very similar. Basically, it's the same fundamental principles, but with this sleeve around the outside of the arm, which is actually very good because it means no finger catching in the, uh, in, the, in the middle of the lovely little bars there, but also little things like these cable mounts that run all the way along the sleeve. And all of the attachments, all of the mounting points are improved. So you can pretty much see here this mounting system completely changed. A better, more premium look, and also just an easier feel too. But when it comes to actually mounting it on the desk, they've taken that a step further too. In the standard desk mount, this is the one that you can take with you, put it on anything, not damage any desks. There's a simple thing here, a rubber attachment to make sure that you're dampening any sound from the desk coming up through the arm. So that's excellent. And this is a great way to actually mount your microphones for the first time. That's what I've done here with the old PSA mic. But what really is a step forward is this. This is the desk mount for the PSA One Plus. Now, let me put that aside. This desk mount is completely different to the previous one. I've got the previous one installed in my home studio. Looks amazing, but it's very basic. Little things here, little touches like this little gold dot, which is Rhodes' uh, signature mark in a lot of their products. Um, this color, I don't even know what color to describe this as. I think um, maybe satin, something like that, but it's not a chrome look, it's not a gold look, it's just a very premium look. Again, rubberized everywhere and just a very nice premium look. And in this one as well, there's a rubberized mount that you can feed your cables through as well. So I thought what I'd do is I'd mount it right here on the desk. So to do that, you need a couple of things. Firstly, you need to find your spot. So I'm gonna put it about here. There's a, there's a beam under the desk here for the uh, riser. So hopefully that's the perfect spot for it. And then you're gonna need some sort of hole saw. Now they say 50 to 80 mil, but basically you just need enough to fit this through. This here but you can make it bigger because obviously you want to also fit the cables through. So enough to fit a bit of a cable mount through there. So let's use the eye. So this one here is 54. That's going to cover pretty much the entire insert and the cable. So once we drill a guide hole, we should be able to drill that one straight through. Let's give it a whirl. All right, this, um, Look, this could go bad, let's be honest. I'm not a handyman. There it is. Whew, smoking. We might just get the dice. There's no turning back now. All right, so we've got the mic arm. We've got the cable. Let's, uh, Let's give this a whirl. Oh, fits like a glove. Very nice. Very nice. Look at that. Very nice. Very nice. So now, obviously we should plug the microphone in. Really easy adjustments up here too. These are good thumb tighteners. Very easy to use. And the uh, Rode Podcaster mic there, Procaster mic. Very nice. So the range of movement is very similar to the original, but, and maybe it's just because mine is old, but 
I do feel like this one has a greater amount of movement this way. I never really got that amount of movement from this one. I feel like it's just got a slightly better angle there because I quite like that, that angle. You'd obviously tidy up the cables, but I quite like that angle across the table, but that's your traditional approach there. Looking very splendid. Solid road branding as always from the guys at Silverwater. But I really, really like it. It's 199 bucks compared to about 139 for the standard PSA. Look, I think it's worth it. I think just for the quality of the mounts, uh, the quality of the, uh, the material, and just this cover up, it does make it look a little bit more professional. There's a range on the market I've seen that have a very bulky block arm, and I think they do look good, and I think that's what Rhodes gone for here with the PSA One Plus. It'll suit any microphone, pretty much any um, screw-on microphone in the road range, as well as others. I've used Shaw's and Audio Technica's tested on there. It's got the, uh, the standard mounts, both uh, large and small, for your microphones. Really, really like the look of it. I think it's, um, it adds a bit of style to your studio. And when you add that on the desk, I think you're really starting to take yourself seriously when it comes to podcasting. So combine the Rodecaster Pro with a solid desk and mount, solid mic arm, and of course a good quality mic, and you've got yourself a great podcasting setup.